Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul and this is Tech and Travel. So today I thought I'd do a video for you guys covering some tips and tricks for the new 2019 C9 OLED from LG. Now I know a lot of you guys have recently purchased this TV and there's quite a few of you guys that are looking to buy this TV. And I thought um, doing this video with some tips and tricks um, would hopefully help you out with setting up the TV and maybe showing you a few features that you didn't know even existed. Um, before we get into the video, I've got to say a massive thanks to the guys at uh, box.co.uk for supplying me with this TV for a few weeks so I, I'm able to make these videos for you guys at home. So thanks very much to them. And also, um, they were kind enough to recently send me this which is a budget £99 uh, 3D printer. I've never owned one in my life, so I'll be unboxing that uh, soon. And uh, yeah, feel free to join me for that if you'd like to see uh, more about that. Um, something I'm uh, looking forward to opening for sure. So anyway, um, should we crack on with this uh, tips and tricks video? Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And if you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and maybe a subscription if you uh, like to see more of the same in the future. Right, let's crack on. Right, so uh, first thing I'll start off with, just something very basic and uh, something to get you uh, started with. So one of the first things you should do. Um, so we've got the remote here and a lot of people don't realize um, about the, the scroll wheel in the middle here. Now that does actually scroll, obviously like a scroll wheel up and down, but also it is your okay button. So a press in the middle will give the okay for whatever you're uh, got the pointer on. I've had a few people ask me before, how do you press OK? And that is simply how you do it. So nice and simple. Um, what we're gonna do now is move on to something that, uh, again, very first, one of the first things I think you should do. And that is um, either look for any software updates and also change how your TV goes about doing software updates. So again, with your remote, if you press once on the settings button, you get up your just general, quick settings here at the side. But if you do a long press, so press it and hold, you will get up your main settings. So there's a little tip there straight away. Then once you are in your settings, you need to go to general and then go to about this TV. And this will then bring up your software version. Now I recommend to make sure that automatic updates is turned off because there has been instances where the updates um, have not been very good. They've um, been a bit buggy and uh, people have not recommended to update them. So I personally um, don't allow the automatic updates. So uh, that is one thing I would recommend doing and check for updates is simply as it says there, you just check through for your updates. Right, so moving on, um, next thing I'm gonna uh, suggest is a few um, screen burn prevention tips here. So again, remote control, long press for the settings. Um, then we're gonna go to general and then eco mode. Now this one at the moment is set for auto power off after four hours. So if you put, um, if you have no input to the TV, uh, you know, from the remote control for four hours, this TV will then shut off. Personally, I think that's too long. I put it down to the uh, minimum amount of two hours. So if you was to doze off or something like that, and there's say a static image up on the screen, you know it will not be up there for any longer than two hours, absolute maximum. The chances are it's probably going to be less than that anyway. So, you know, that could uh, potentially save you from any screen burn. Uh, next tip to do with um, screen burn prevention will be go to your picture settings and then down to additional settings and then OLED panel settings. Um, you just want to make sure that your lo logo luminance adjustment is on either low or high. Make sure it's not turned off. 
Um, again, this will make sure that any logos that are up in the corner are doled down slightly and should help, hopefully, um, not burn in um, to, the, to the panel. And whilst we're in this section, another tip is if when you get your TV, or well, any time really, if you're noticing any potential burning or vertical banding, um, you've got a manual pixel refresher. Now, the TV will do an automatic pixel refresh um, every, I think it's after four hours of continual use. Once you shut the TV off, it will do like a, a light sort of refresh of the panel. Um, but this is more of a, a sort of a deep clean, if you want to look at it like that, of the panel, um, which you manually do yourself. So you come into it and then you'd say start once. And I think that takes about an hour. And I have done that before on my um, previous B8 OLED and it help, has helped. Um, I know it did with the uh, vertical band and I had. So if you've got any sort of issues like that, it might be worth running that once or twice before you know maybe you go sort of calling LG or anything like that but I wouldn't recommend running it all the time I know some people sort of want to do it every day or once a week I, I just only use it when I feel it's necessary right let's uh, move on to the next one right so uh, next thing we want to talk about is the uh, the pointer now again I get asked quite often oh how do I get the pointer up on the TV well you've got a couple of ways you can either press uh, move the, the uh, scroll wheel round, which that will get it up, or simply give the remote a shake, and there you go, your pointer will come up. So uh, whilst we're on the subject of pointers, again, you can, try, uh, you can change the size of this pointer. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. First of all, I'll show you the sort of the long way around of doing it. So again, long press on the settings button, all the way down to accessibility, and then pointer options and there we have the option for a small medium or large pointer like so now if we back out of that there is actually another way to get to the uh, accessibility menu even quicker now if you go to the mute button and then you hold that down for a few seconds hopefully it should go straight into accessibility so there you go a, uh, another little shortcut that may, may save you a bit of time and uh, let's move change that pointer back to a nice medium size right there you go let's move on to the next one next thing I think we talk about is apps so downloading apps installing apps moving them around and a few little tips as well I've got some that you probably won't know about again so what we're going to do first is uh, get up the home menu press the home button and we're going to go to the LG um, App Store, wherever that is. Uh, LG Content Store, there we are at the end. Now again, another little tip with this year's model. If you highlight over the um, said app for long enough, it will pop up a second layer of um, like shortcuts, basically. Or you can simply just click on the highlighted um, app and then click on it and it goes straight into the full-on version, which I'm going to do now. And uh, we're going to download YouTube. Taking a bit of time here. Right, there we go. Internet's playing up a bit tonight. So uh, we're going to go up to apps at the top. And go to YouTube so click on the scroll wheel button yeah highlight that and then we're gonna go to install simple as that we've got a bar coming up and again when my slow internet kicks into life hopefully it should download right there we go eventually got there so it has now been uh, added now if we uh, go back out of this we should have it somewhere on our home bar here. There we go, there's YouTube. Now, as you can see now, it's stuck right at the end, but being a YouTuber and all, I want it right up the front here, you know, uh, where I can quickly get to it. So what I'm gonna do is go all the way along to this little pencil or pen icon here and click on that. And now, if we want, we just simply move the cursor down 
to that app or any app that we want, we highlight and then we press OK on the, the uh, scroll wheel and we press along and move it to wherever we want. So we're going to put it, oh, we'll just put it there right at the end. Click again, down it drops. Now, if we want to delete an app, let's just say we want to get rid of iPlayer, do the same thing, but then uh, you press up, which will highlight the X, click it, and then you just agree to delete it, which I don't want to do at the moment. Now, let's just uh, fire up YouTube, and I've got uh, another way that if you want to get to any app really quick, a real good tip. And uh, what we do, so we've got the YouTube app there, and say so you want to get to this really quick every time. If, you know, you want to get, you want to watch tech and travel every day as fast as you can when you get in from work. So what you do, you grab your remote and you simply hold down any one of the, uh, the buttons, the, the numeric buttons. So I'm going to say number one, literally hold that down. And then it says, do you want to add a uh, quick access to number one for YouTube? Simply press yes. And that's it. It's now been added. So if we come back out of this uh, YouTube there, got a TV player, I'll grab the remote, hold down button one, and there we go. We are straight into YouTube. Right, nice and simple. Let's move on to the next one. Right, so the, uh, the next tip I've got for you guys is the most important one out of the lot. By far, you lot have definitely got to do this. So as soon as you've got your OLED, make sure you do this one. Please, 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 it's so important. Right, what we're gonna do is go all the way to the end of the uh, menu bar here and highlight on the pen stroke pencil. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to add YouTube channel. So you click on add and then what you do, you write in tech and travel nice and easy just like that then press search then with any luck you'll get that handsome character come up on your screen there and then you simply want to press uh, to add to home and there you go it pops up there and you want to make sure you put, and it is very important, you must move it all the way to this end. So it's in the uh, the prime spot there. And uh, then all you have to do is fire it up, click on that, YouTube will fire up, and uh, with any luck, you'll be uh, straight onto my channel for all the uh, latest tech unboxings and uh, tips for your OLED. There you go. It don't get much better than that there, folks. So yeah, please make sure you do it. Right, let's uh, move on to the next one. Right, so we've talked a little bit about the uh, the shortcuts and stuff where you hold down like a, a selector button on the remote, say for YouTube, uh, but there is another way to do it. So if you uh, get your remote and hold down on zero, do a long press on that, and then it should, far up your quick access. So again, here you can uh, assign or reassign, delete whatever you want. So let's say click on number two, click on that, and it will bring up all of the available sort of things that you've got there, Netflix, Amazon, Prime, ITV Hub, and you know, you can assign whatever you want doing it that way. So there is a, another way of doing it right there. Right, let's uh, move on to the next tip. Right, another remote control shortcut I've got for you guys is for the home dashboard. So with your remote, you want to do a long press on this button right here, little sort of lead button. Press that and then you go straight to your uh, dashboard where you've got things, um, you know, like all your inputs. And uh, one most important ones is Apple AirPlay. Uh, so if you've got a compatible Apple device you can stream like any movies you've got on that to the uh, TV so a uh, nice simple way of getting to your dashboard there right let's uh, move on to the next one right and the last shortcut I'm going to show you guys is uh, to do the home button there and to get up your previous apps and shut them down so what you need to do is a long press on the home button 
and that will bring up any previous apps that you have open and simply if you you know you can click on one to access it quickly or simply press up highlight the cross and uh, delete it off right let's uh, move on to something to do with the sound now right so the uh, next little tip or trick I've got for you is to uh, tune the sound of the TV so what we're going to do is grab the remote control again, do a long settings press. Then we're going to highlight highlight sound, then AI acoustic tuning, and then start new sound tuning. There we are. Now what this will do, this will utilize the microphone that is at the end of the remote control. The TV will send out a signal and... Uh, the mic on the remote will pick that up and send it back and tune it accordingly. I'll just quickly show you guys what that will sound like. So there you go, it's running this test now. Um, probably won't do it probably because I'm speaking. Um, yeah, so as you can see, sort of showing you what it will be doing. And uh, yeah, should tune it nicely to your environment and hopefully improve what it sounds like. Right, it's uh Move on to the next one. Right, so the next tip I've got for you is to download the um, LG TV app. So once you've downloaded that from the appropriate store, simply uh, fire up the app, agree to the terms and conditions, and it will uh, start automatically searching for the TV. There you go, it's found it already. So we will uh, click on that, and it's asking us to enter a pin and the TV should be displaying that pin, which is, and uh, I'll simply enter that now. Now we've done that, we will press enter, agree to uh, all the permissions, and there we go. We've got uh, controls here, so we've got like our volume up and down. As you can see, that's uh, corresponding there. I'll turn that down, mute button, um, TV menu there, so we can turn the TV on and off, uh, like look at the apps and stuff like that, and yeah, just generally control the TV. So uh, definitely worth uh, downloading that. Right, so the very last thing that I want to uh, show you guys, which is a tip or trick again, is um, about self-diagnosis of the TV. Now this can be used for like this, if you're having problems with the sound or potentially the panel or anything like that and you just wanna try it out and see what it says. Um, so again, long press on the settings. Then we're gonna go down to general. Then about this TV. Then quick help. And then it will bring up um, a few options here. And we're going to go to check the status of TV. Now here it says about checking the OLED panel. So if you say click on that, if you think you're having problems, click on that. And uh, you can run a diagnostics. So press start. There you go. Be trying it out and it says panel OK. Um, let's go back. You can do the remote control. Again, this one says about the battery remain, remaining, states are pairing, so we're gonna start the diagnostics on that. So battery remaining, uh, yeah, enough, it says. Enough of what? I don't know, that's debatable, but uh, yeah, enough of the battery level, and pairing, pairing um, states are pairing is okay. So yeah, that's uh, pretty useful. Again, you've got um, check sensor there, it's all okay. Yeah, Bluetooth Wi-Fi. Again, run that, all good. So yeah, just just a handy little thing to uh, maybe uh, try out if you're having issues with your TV, it be it, you know, the panel, sound or anything like that. So there you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and if you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. Like I said before, please check out all my other videos. Um, I've got loads of OLED ones to do with settings, setting them up, uh, and just general testing of OLED, so please go and check those out. 
And uh, once again, a big thanks to the guys at box.co.uk for supplying me with this C9 OLED. Uh, if it weren't for those guys, I wouldn't be able to make those videos. So thanks very much to them. So anyway, thanks very much for joining me and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.